Do traumatic experiences affect women's sexuality? What is the impact of the perfection culture on intimacy? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, traumatic experiences such as sexual abuse or emotional trauma can have a significant impact on women's sexuality. They can lead to issues like sexual dysfunction, post-traumatic stress disorder, and difficulties in sexual relationships. The perfection culture negatively affects intimacy by creating pressures, insecurities, and difficulties in being authentic. It contributes to mental health issues, intolerance for imperfections in partners, and affects sexual satisfaction. Fostering acceptance and authenticity is key to healthy intimate relationships. Multiple pathways. While clitoral stimulation is a common way to achieve a female orgasm, some women may experience orgasms through stimulation of other areas, such as nipples or the G-spot. National Condom Day. In some countries, National Condom Day is celebrated to promote awareness of the importance of condom use in preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. Nipples are a common erogenous zone in both men and women. Some people experience high sensitivity in their nipples, which can lead to orgasm with proper stimulation. Orgasm control. Some men practice orgasm control, also known as the edging method, which involves intentionally delaying orgasm to prolong sexual pleasure before allowing themselves to climax. The orgasm gap refers to the difference in orgasm frequency between men and women in heterosexual relationships. Open communication and equality in sexual satisfaction are key to closing this gap. Orgasmic dysfunction. The inability to reach orgasm, known as anorgasmia, can affect both men and women. This can be due to physical, emotional, or health-related factors and can be treated with the help of healthcare professionals. Orgasms during childbirth. In rare instances, some women experience orgasms during childbirth. This is due to the stimulation of certain nerves and is not something all women experience, but it is a curious and little-known phenomenon. Pain shouldn't be ignored. While some initial discomfort during anal sex is common, Persistent pain can be a sign that something is wrong. Pain should not be ignored, and open communication is key. Paraphilia refers to sexual attraction to unusual objects, situations, or activities. Examples include exhibitionism, voyeurism, and fetishism. Paraphilias are patterns of a typical sexual attraction. Some examples include object fetishization, voyeurism, watching others have sex, and BDSM, bondage, discipline, domination, submission, sadism, and masochism. Paraphilias can be harmless as long as they are practiced consensually and safely. Pelvic floor muscles. Anal sex can strengthen pelvic floor muscles, which can have benefits for sexual and reproductive health. Penis size. Concerns about penis size are common among men, but most women consider size not to be a crucial factor in sexual satisfaction. Communication and emotional connection are often more important. Persistent sexual arousal syndrome. Some people experience a disorder known as persistent sexual arousal syndrome, characterized by continuous sexual arousal without desire. This can be extremely uncomfortable and may require treatment. Pleasure without penetration. Penetration is not necessary for experiencing anal pleasure. External stimulation with fingers or toys can also be pleasurable. Point A is an area inside the vagina that some women find particularly sensitive. Stimulation of this area can lead to intense orgasms and is less known than the G-spot. Polysexual relationships. Some individuals identify as polysexual, meaning they can feel sexual attraction to individuals of various genders, regardless of whether they identify as men, women, or any other gender identity. Positive body language. Confident posture and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive. Post-orgasm syndrome. Some men may experience a feeling of tiredness or drowsiness immediately after orgasm, known as post-orgasm syndrome. This is believed to be due to the release of hormones such as prolactin. Postures and positioning. 
Experimenting with different postures and positions can influence comfort and pleasure during anal sex. Preparation and communication. Adequate preparation and open communication with the partner are crucial. Trust and consent are even more critical in anal sex. Professional consultation. If any health concerns arise or persistent discomfort is experienced, it is advisable to seek guidance from health professionals, such as doctors or sex therapists. Psychological effects. Orgasms release various chemicals in the brain, including dopamine and oxytocin, which can have powerful effects on emotions and the connection between sexual partners. Refractory period. In contrast to women, most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot reach another orgasm or erection. The duration of this period can vary significantly among men. Relation to G-spot stimulation. Some women report that anal stimulation can have indirect effects on G-spot stimulation and increase orgasm intensity. Relationship between depression and decreased sexual desire. Depression can impact sexual desire and many individuals struggling with depression may experience a decrease in libido. Treatment and support can help address this issue. Sleep and sex are interconnected. Having sex before bedtime can help release tensions and promote more restful sleep. Additionally, some people experience erotic dreams that can result in sexual arousal during the night. Resilience. The ability to overcome adversities and maintain a positive attitude is valued by many people. Respect for personal values. Showing respect for the partner's personal values and beliefs is essential for a successful relationship. Risks and injury prevention. Lack of adequate lubrication, rough penetration, or the use of inappropriate objects can increase the risk of injuries. Taking precautions is essential to avoid problems. Role-playing games are a common form of sexual exploration. By assuming different roles and scenarios, couples can live out fantasies and exciting experiences in a safe and consensual environment. Semen abstinence. Some male animals may abstain from ejaculating during mating to increase their chances of successfully mating with multiple partners. Sense of responsibility. The ability to take on responsibilities and commitments in life, whether at work, in a relationship, or in the community, is valued. Sex and aging. As people age, their sex life can continue to be satisfying. In fact, many older individuals report a more satisfying sex life compared to their youth. Sex and creativity. Sex and creativity are related in various ways. Many artists and writers have found inspiration in their sex lives. The connection between artistic expression and intimacy can be a source of innovation and personal expression. Sex and laughter. Laughing during sex can enhance the experience. Laughter releases endorphins, the same chemicals released during sex, which can increase pleasure and intimacy. Sex and pregnancy. Having sexual relations during pregnancy is generally safe, unless otherwise indicated by a doctor. In fact, many couples find that their sex life improves during this period. Sex during menstruation is a personal choice. Some couples find it entirely satisfying and comfortable, while others may prefer to avoid it. Using protection is essential if engaging in sex during menstruation. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.